Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my most humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. My name is Kavya Buddhi Raja and welcome back to your own YouTube channel, Being Krishna Conscious. Today's topic is how to balance your study life and your spiritual life, which means how to balance studies with devotion. encountered the same problem when I was in law school. So today I will be sharing a few tips and tricks that we all can incorporate in our lives in order to balance our studies and bhakti. Let's begin. Tip number one is to chant at a suitable time. Now I totally understand that it is very difficult especially for students to complete the entire 16 rounds batch in one sitting. So what we can do is that as soon as we wake up in the morning, you can do a portion of those rounds. Let's say you normally chant 8 rounds. So you can probably do 2 or 3 rounds in the morning. Then go to school or to your college. Come back as soon as you get time, complete your rounds. So for a student, I know it's very difficult to complete your 16 rounds in one go. But we can divide those rounds and chant as per our timetable. You can also chant your rounds in between your break. So what I used to do was whenever I used to take break from my studies, I used to take up my bead bag and complete my remaining rounds. So that can also be done. Tip number two, try to read minimum of one to two shlokas from the Bhagavad Gita every day along with the purpose as per your timetable whenever you get time. This will do two things. Firstly, it will increase your concentration level so that you are efficiently able to do your studies of your school. And secondly, it will help you to remember Krishna always. Tip number three, never forget the verse, Karmanya Badhikaraste Ma Faleshu Kadachana Ma Karma Falhetur Bhur Ma Te Sangos Vakarmani, which means you must only focus on fulfilling your duty. Do not worry about the result. Do not be anxious. Do not pressurize yourself unnecessarily. Only focus on your duties and leave the remaining in the lotus hands of Krishna. He will never disappoint you. So you need to focus on your studies without focusing upon the results or the outcome of your exams from that study. Tip number four. Now this particular tip will help us how not to get attached to the results or the outcomes of the exams. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Man mana bhav mad bhakto madhya jimam namaskuru, which means that Krishna is saying, offer everything to me. Whatever we are doing, we should be doing it for the pleasure of Krishna or Vishnu. So if I'm studying, I have to be mindful that the purpose of this study is to please Krishna. Just like Krishna gave Upadesh to Arjun, Arjun, I want you to fight. So Arjun fought for the pleasure of Krishna. Not that Arjun wanted to fight, but Arjun fought for the pleasure of Krishna. Tip number five. As students, it is very important that while studying, we are not distracted by anything. So how to deal with distractions? How to not get distracted? Well, I've already made a video on this particular topic. I will put the link of that video in the description below. You can watch that. However, one thing that can definitely, definitely help us in reducing the distractions is to hear the Kirtans. I would personally recommend that you all should listen to the Kirtans of Sripad Aindra Prabhu. He chants Shuddhanam. And there is nothing better than hearing Shudhanam before or after your studies. So you should definitely, definitely hear the Kirtans of Sripad Aindra Prabhu. Tip number six, share everything with Lord Krishna. Trust me, dear students, as students, it is very, very, very important to make Krishna a part of our life. So if you're happy, if you are sad, if you're excited, if you are nervous, share it with Krishna. It is only Krishna who can truly understand our feelings because he is sitting as Paramatma in our heart. 
so whatever you are feeling make sure to share it with krishna because there is no better friend there is no best friend like shri krishna so i hope that this video will definitely help you in balancing your spiritual and school life hari krishna jai shri la prabhupada